This is the logarithms graphic organizers that we're going to look at today. So logarithms, we know that these are inverse of an exponential function. So a logarithm is just a special way to ask a specific question. Let's say we had the exponential function y equals 2 to the power of x. Well, let's go ahead and find the inverse. Well, how do you find the inverse? Remember, you switch your x and your y's first off. So x equals 2 to the power y. So then when you get here, the next step would be to solve for y. But the question is, how do we solve for a variable exponent? We can't just take the y root of both sides. So how do we get that so it's no longer an exponent? And the answer is use logarithms. So just like we have a quadratic function, we have linear function, exponential functions, we have logarithmic functions. So the rule for this would be um, the log base of the answer equals the exponent. And so that's how you rewrite this in a logarithmic form. So recall that when you're looking at exponential form, like we have here, the base exponent equals answer. And over here, when you write it from this form into this form, it's the log base answer equals exponent. So notice the base is always still the base. So here, the base is 2 because that is the number that has the exponent. So this would be log base 2 of, and we use the answer from exponential form to take that log base of that answer. So this would be log base of the answer to this equation is x because we switched the x y's is equal to and then notice that the exponent becomes the answer um, for a logarithmic function. So this would be equals y. So these are inverses. And that's why we like logarithms, because they allow us to solve for that variable exponent. Um, so again, this is read log base b of a equals e. Um, so log base of the answer equals the exponent. So this is the exponential form, and this is putting this exponential form into logarithmic form. Now, we don't always switch the variables when we're rewriting it. Just if it asks you to write the inverse of an equation, we know that for the inverse, you switch the xy's and solve for y. But if we're just rewriting it one from one form to the other, we don't actually switch those. So let's go ahead and um, look at some examples. And before we do that, though, the b and a are always positive so these values can't be negative and also b cannot be equal to one and we know the reason that is because when you think about the exponential function form if this is an exponential growth equation Remember, we said that when we have negative exponents, it just gets closer and closer to zero without going over. And we also have already looked at the graph of the inverse, which looks like this. And so um, for that reason, you can't have a negative base and you can't take the log of a negative number um, in this value that you have or zero. Um, and also the base cannot be equal to one because if we had a base of one, think about one to any power, is always equal to one. So that would just be a horizontal line. So that's why we don't use one either. So let's go ahead and look at some examples on the next page. So um, one thing we wanna look at, oh no, my logarithm has no base. So when the base of 10 is, um, when the log of a base is not written, then you're always gonna use base 10, which is called a common logarithm. So here it's not written. So really you could rewrite this as log base 10 of 10. And notice that the base is always written as a subscript. So please try to make sure that you write that smaller than this number here. Um, and if I wanted to evaluate this, I would actually use exponential form to help. So we, this is an exponential form. Remember the 10, the base stays the base. So 10 to what power we don't know so 10 to what power is equal to 10 well that means the power has to be 1 because 10 to the first equals 10 and remember the answer to the log is the exponent so this answer would be equal to 1 and if i go back to this next one log base 10 of 1 tenth 
So if I wanted to solve this, I could again go ahead and put this into exponential form. So 10 to what power equals 1 tenth? Well, how do I get 1 tenth and 10 to be the same base? Remember that if you have a negative exponent, that would bring it to the numerator. So this is 10 to what power equals 10 to the negative 1. Well, if I have the same base being equal, then the exponents have to be equal. So that means this is equal to negative 1. For the next one, this is log base 10 of 1,000. So if I put this in exponential form, 10 to what power equals 1,000? Well, we know that's 10 to the third power, so this equals 3. And then this down here, you could also rewrite as log base 10 of 10, or sorry, log base 10 of x. But because it's used so often in mathematics, that's why we don't write the base 10 always. So if you don't see a base, again, remember, just call it common logarithm and it's base 10. So you can use the logarithm loop trick, which we talked about um, before. So always draw your loop um, counterclockwise from the base. So if you do that, I would just make sure the base is always to the left of the answer. Um, so here's the base. It loops around. So this would be the first step, so the base b of x equals a, and this loops around back to where you started with the x, so this would be the log base b of a equals the exponent x, so that's what I was talking about with the loop trick. So here, if we want to write this in exponential form, you can do the loop trick if that helps you. So this is, the base stays the base, so 2 Remember, the answer to log is the exponent, so 2 to the third equals 8, and you can kind of check your math there. 2 to the third is 8, so it works out. Same thing here. The base is 3, so 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. Here, now we're going to go from exponential form to logarithmic form. So the log, the base stays the base, so the base over here is 5 because that has the exponent of 2. So log base 5 of 25 equals the exponent. So again, looped around. So over here you would do the same thing. This would be log base 343 of 7 equals 1 third. So we also have some um, properties for our logs or log rules. Log base b of 1, what does that equal? We'll think about exponential form. So exponential form would be b to what power is equal to 1. Well, to get that 1, we know it'd have to be a 0 power. So log base b of 1 always equals 0 because b to the 0 power equals 1. Down here, log base b of b, what's that going to be equal to? So b to what power is equal to b? Well, that means this would have to be 1. And that's because b to the first equals b. And we are going to go ahead and stop there for the graphic organizer, and we will um, add some stuff to this graphic organizer a little bit later.